So this is your last call. If you guys don't know, we usually look at 801, Banshee, Xur, and a reverse in that order and see what is up for the week. So that way you guys are aware of what's going away for this week. Not only that, Guardian Games is going away this this Tuesday. So make sure you pick up your board because I definitely think it's worth a pickup. I might make a video for it tomorrow, which will be hilarious considering <laughs> You got to do a lot to get this board, but I really want to talk about it because there it there is a you can buy one in the store. We'll, we'll look at that in a bit, but we'll go look at the fit for the video because I know people are going to ask me. This is the fit. I'm currently working on a armamentarium video, and this is the first look that I'm going to do for it. I think it looks really, really cool for the helmet and the arms. We're using the Eidolon Pursuant stuff for the boots wildwood greaves and then for the boots or the mark the intrepid exploit mark so really like this i like the browns i like the fact that it looks very earthly and for the shader gamekeepers what we're using definitely like this set a lot um <clears throat> yeah definitely really excited to make that armamentarium video i also do apologize that i haven't been making videos it's just that or posting i should say it's just that uh getting used to that new job is kind of rough so that's really it um let me know what you guys think about the set but other than that let's look at ben or let's get 801 real quick <clears throat> so gold leaf is the first shader we're going to be looking at and i like the shader i just don't like the green that being said if you do something like this where it's just pure gold it's going to look really cool but just be aware that there is a green in there we have bray innovation yeah it looks really cool i i definitely would recommend this just because this is from season three which was a long time ago so it is a rare shader and then we have new monarchy allegiance which is also from season three although not the best shader i think that orange is very uh terrible looking but if you can find an armor set that only has that red i think that would be really cool so as for the armor sets are all right here i'm not going to talk too much about it because honestly i talk about this armor quite a bit um, but I will talk about some things, I guess, because this armor does have a lot of pieces that don't change color for pretty much all the classes. But let's talk about the hunters first. Hunters, uh, the white on the visor, the white on the marks or the cloak, and then the yellow anywhere it does not change color. I specifically mean that really like neon yellow that does not change color. Should just be aware of that. Titans, uh, the helmet's really cool if you're going for a xenomorph look. The square red boxes do not change color and the copper does not change color. And then Warlocks, I actually don't even remember what Charles. Yeah, I don't like any of this. There's other better pieces that have are like. So let me actually explain this real quick. The chess piece, I think, is amazing for another set. Um, actually, once you guys are done watching this rotation of the armor, then I'll actually just show you here. Right here, you guys will see that the Tesseract Trace uh, 4 or 6, I think that's 6, I don't know, either way, uh, the Tesseract Trace, it's a really cool chess piece, but if you want a better one, you could literally just get the, uh, where are you, this one right here, the Sovereign Robes, it's literally the same chess piece, if you don't want that, and you're just like, oh no, it has the new monarchy symbol, I'm not a fan of that, then just get the Philomath suit, it's literally the best, it's literally just the same thing without the new monarchy regalia sy symbol. And you might be wondering, oh, it has camo, it does not have camo. You can actually change that. So definitely the best one, just because you do have that chain mail. It looks really, really cool. It's just that the new monarchy regalia one looks a little bit better in my opinion. So I definitely wouldn't recommend the armor for anyone, but if you have just currency to kill, then you might as well pick it up because again, it's better to have it and not need it than to need it and not have it kind of thing. As for Banshee, selling Whispering Slab with Quick Draw and Demolitionist, uh, Timeline Vertex with Shield Disorient and Demo, Annual Skate with Triple Tap and Wellspring, Legal Action 2, Feeding Frenzy and Wellspring, and then Palmera B with Surplus and Frenzy. So I pretty much wouldn't recommend any of these weapons. This is Sunday that we're looking at these. So if you're looking at this on Monday, unfortunately, he's probably selling something else. But overall, I'm not really a big fan of what anything that he's selling. Maybe, maybe annual skate triple tap and wolfspring might be nice. But other than that, I really don't care. As for Zer, he's on Watcher's Grave on Nessus, currently selling the Titan planetary armor, which is really, really cool because I, there's so many good pieces in this set that I actually really like. And all, for all the classes as well, not just for the Titans or the Hunters. I think the Warlocks also got really cool pieces. So let's actually look at the hunters first. I think the helmet is super dope. I think the chest piece is super dope. I think the boots are too like are good. And I think the arms are the only weak piece. I think the cloak is really interesting as well. 
Uh, Titans, I think the boots are the boots are my favorite boots if I'm going for like a casual look. I think the helmet's really cool if you want to go for like an astronaut look. I think the arms are decent. I think the chest piece is decent. I think the mark you can definitely use. I just haven't personally like really gone out out of my way to use it yet. Uh, Warlock's helmet is really cool. I think the chest piece is interesting. I personally wouldn't use it. I think the boots uh, unfortunately look like a lot of pieces from that same era. Uh, arms are very simplistic but you can definitely use that and i think the bond is whatever so i definitely think this armor is worth getting um to the point where like i legitimately would tell you like just pick all of it up because you might never know when some of these pieces you're going to be utilizing like titans alone I've, I've used that chest or the boots on so many sets it's not even funny uh hunters i think the helmet is so cool i think the chest piece is really cool if you want to go for an astronaut look again just overall a really really good set and you definitely really should pick all of this up as for the armor rolls i'll have them up right here always say this in this portion of the video but um if you are a new player and you see some rolls that are pretty good definitely pick it up but just know that this is not end game armor i think end game armor you definitely need to go through for um, artifice armor which is dungeon armor specifically like master dungeon armor definitely get that armor because you get through you actually i can just show you real quick while you guys are looking at the rolls i can just go so let me see where are you all star peric i thought i thought my titan oh it's this one right here so this is the deep explorer mark i'll put the rolls down for a bit but this is the one from duality yeah this is the one from duality um and the really really cool thing about artifice armor is the fact that I just get plus three discipline, plus three anything, really. So let's say I'm like down, like maybe this, the recovery was actually a 97. If I put this in recovery, it'll give me a 300. So that's why I say you get free three stats for all of your armor, except for your exotic, but three plus three for each of your armor is just so powerful. So that's why I say that this armor is definitely starter armor unless you just get one that's so cracked that the free three stats doesn't really matter but that's just why i say that this is starting off armor once you get to higher end content like dungeons specifically and there are there are other ways to earn artifice armor finally um pvp is getting one thankfully and i do think raids should have artifice armor that also includes raid perks so that way they could be actually useful so let me know what you guys think about the rolls. As for the weapons, we're going to be looking at Royal Chase with Grave Robber and Thresh. Valpecula with Outline Harmony. Yeah. Legal Action 2, Heating Up and Rampage. Without Remorse, Stats for All and Elemental Capacitor. Path of Least Resistance with Hipfire Grip and Tap the Trigger. Thread Needle with Killing Wind and Demo. And then Memory Interdict with uh, Impulse Amplifier and Danger Zone. So I would definitely say... Well, first and foremost, this one, this one, the, both, these two are both red borders. So if you want, you can definitely just buy as many as you need, but just usually five and then just make them. I definitely think without remorse is definitely worth picking up. That being said, it's more for PVE rather than PVP. That being said, again, people have been using this in PVP and it's pretty cracked. It's just, I don't know, the perks for me, I'm not a fan of it for PVP. And then Path of Least Resistance, I definitely would recommend. Um, other than that, there's really maybe Legal Action 2 because Rampage and Heating Up. I think Heating Up is the one. Final Blows with this weapon increases. Yeah. So these two pair really well together because you don't have to reload to get Heating Up's uh, trait rocking. That's why it, it pairs well with Rampage because Rampage, you're getting that damage bonus plus you're getting that accuracy and stability while improving vertical recoil and i think it st stacks up to three times so it's like literally the same thing for these two it's just you're getting more benefits with while killing which is definitely really cool for this weapon that being said i don't know if i really care the fuck it let's pick it up why not uh, <laughs> and then outlaw harmony i would probably ignore this so let me know what you guys are going to be picking up for the weapons as for the exotics we're, we're looking at hawkman with opening shot that's actually not bad um, I like Hawkmoon a lot. I don't use it as much as I would like, but greatly increases handling speed, slightly decreases stability. I don't know if I really care about stability on Hawkmoon, so mm, I definitely would. I, I I would probably pick this one up for sure. And then the other exotics we're gonna be looking at: Prometheus Lens. We have Shinobu's Vow with decent stats. It's not the best, but it's definitely decent. Um, 
I would. Let me see. Let me see. Oh, I'm not on my war or my hunter. That's right. I'm on my war titan. Um, I definitely would pick this one up for sure. What about this one? Um, trash and there's a uh, decent. You definitely want high intellect for this one, but I don't really care for it to be quite honest. So let me know what you guys are gonna be picking up. Let me go do some things real quick. Ignore this one. I have so many exotics, dog. Um, was it arms? Worm guard. I don't want to destroy that. Ah, fuck it. Well, give me a second. Okay, let me pick that one up so that way my Titan can just switch it to my my hunter. And let's look at what the exotic we get. I hope it's something good, but it's usually trash, just like me. Uh, a band leaps. Okay, I can fuck with a band leaps. Um, if they're good rolls. Let's dip out of here so we can look at Eververse without having to wait forever for a shader to load because it is very much a real thing that we have to go through each time, which pisses me off. Reload app. And then for Eververse, we're going to be looking at the last week of Guardian games. All right. Up for grabs, which is the McDonald's shader. Yup. Not a fan of this one, but I always tell people grab it. You might never know when it's going to be cool. Rivalry White Sand, which doesn't look bad with this. It actually looks pretty decent, not gonna lie. Then we have Stalwart Sigil, which is a Titan one. We have Triple Bogey. I'm pretty sure this is a small one. And then Reigning Champion. And then for the stuff at the bottom, we have this, whatever this says. This is the one from two years ago, which looks really cool. Unfortunately, anything that's red, blue, or yellow does not change color. So just be aware of that. We have Championship Advantage, which again, like I don't mind this right here. I just mind that it doesn't change color um, because yeah, it looks pretty terrible without it. We have Tasseled Shell again. Tassels are just the only problem here. I don't mind them. I just wish they would change color. That goes for the armor as well. Free throw. Touchdown dance. And then exercise cycle. And then for the other stuff, we have reflection effects from year two. This is pretty old. This was a, this is a reference to Osiris, I think. We have Cyber Class Entrance, which again, if you like the 80s, why not? Spring Fountain Effects. And then Shaders Photo Finish, which I definitely probably should make a video on this tomorrow, maybe. You know what? We'll probably make it right after this video so that way I can make it up for tomorrow. Uh, Chitin Slate, which is a really good shader if you want to turn off glows and or make them into a solid. And then Rivalry Black Sand, which looks pretty good. Doesn't look terrible. And then Verdant Crown, which is from the Revelry, which is from an event that doesn't even exist in the game anymore. So this is a really rare shader. And that is pretty much it. Let me know what you guys are going to be picking up from anything in the game. I am currently, like I said, working on the Armamentarium video. Um, actually, you know what, because I usually do this at the end of the video, if you guys like the video, like, comment, subscribe, I really do appreciate it, but if you don't want to hear my voice anymore, just be safe, I will see you guys later, other than that, we are going to be looking at some things, so first and foremost, I am still working on the, on the loadout video, so if you guys don't know, um, I'm making a video right now, or I want to do it by the end of this month, so that way, before the next expansion comes out, I'll have another one where we look at all of the loadouts that I have and we look out basically the loadouts that I have. So like, for example, this one is my end game content uh, loadout. And I'm gonna be looking at the fashion and then looking at the like the perks that I have on it or the mods and whatnot, because again, this is my end game content. This is the one that I usually do like raids or specifically, I did a solo flawless for one of the dungeons with this one, I think if I remember correctly and it was a lot of fun so i want to go through the fashion of it talk about like what i was thinking about and then like oh like this one specifically there this is my grenade 
a build when I'm doing bounties and the, the bounty specifically is like, oh, you need grenade kills. This is the one I do because not only does it turn a grenade that's annoying into a really good grenade, but it also uh, gives me back energy from grenade kills, which is really, really cool. Or like, let's say this one's technically not a one that I ever use. It's more of a like, I just wanted to switch it out for something else and I might not make a video on this one just because I have other builds that I'm currently working on. But then we have like this one, which is my one of my favorite looks right now. And Lorelei is just a very useful exotic. So we're going to be making a loadout video for all of the classes. Um, I still have the tactical videos for the Hunter Titan and Warlock. And I think before before we look at these sets, we're going to look at like some of the like the really cool tactical sets that the classes have. And then we still have the tier list that I still haven't done because it, honestly, just wait. Did I make the tier list already? Right, let me go check real quick. Again, I do apologize if this is not like what you're used to, but I, oh, I did the raid tier list. I need to do the season pass tier list and then the Iron Banner tier list, which I think Iron Banner is next. It's either this week or next week. I don't remember off the top of my head. But after that, I'm looking, I'm thinking about doing exotic ornament looks, specifically like, for example, uh, Lorelei Splendor. I've made so many sets with this, but like, let's say I want to make a, like a set revolving around just this look. I want to see if I can do that with like maybe two exotics in the video or three or something like that. Or maybe have, I don't know, like that's where my head's going. Like maybe do an exotic video like that where it would be pretty cool. Uh, we still have exotic videos. I've put some other ones in here. So for the exotic videos, we're going to be looking at, uh, let me see, hunters first. So first and foremost, we're going to be doing one for Orpheus Rig. Orpheus Rig is going to be the next exotic video because that's the one I personally chose. And then we have the fish pants, which I already made the the structure of the video. I just have to edit it and then put a voiceover for it. So same thing for Orpheus. Orpheus I already have the structure for it. I just have to do the voiceover. But Eat Star Eater, I've already done the sets. I've already recorded all of the, the footage that I need to. I just need to edit it in a way where it looks fine and then do the voiceover but then we have armamentarium for the hunt for the titans chris of alpha Lupi, and then don chorus and some bracers for the warlocks and then after that we'll, we'll go into the main thing is i want to finish all of the exotic for all the classes so that way i can go back and look at some of my some of the exotics that i did already like for example for the hunters i want to do a stompies video where i show you all of the fashion that i've done for the stompies and that'll be really fun because I've done a lot of fashion. And then after, yeah, after we look at like what it does and all that stuff, we're literally just going to go into it and be like, so these are like some of my favorite sets that I made for this exotic. And then we look at all of the sets that I made or may have or keep making because I still make more. So don't don't worry. Just because I haven't been posting a lot of content doesn't mean I'm, I'm not still like thinking about it. It's just the new job has been really tiring and my pinch nerve has really been messing up my quality of life so far so that's why i haven't been, just sat down and made a video because most of the time i'll like be in the computer for a bit and then just have to lay down because my neck is really hurting because of the pinch nerve but yeah i have content for destiny 2 i'm working on a final fantasy 14 video which is literally just me showing you how just the fashion that i have because at this point i just need to make a final fantasy 14 video and then after that i'll be like okay cool like now i don't really care i don't like the main thing about it is just I'm afraid of the structure of the video and I'm afraid of just the newness of it. Not me being new to the game. I've been playing since fucking vanilla technically. And I say technically because I started like a month before Heaven Sword came out. So it's I've been playing for a while. I love the fashion in the game. Absolutely love the fashion in the game. I think 14 has the best fashion in pretty much any game I've ever played. And I really want to start posting stuff there. It's just the fact that I am not a veteran in that game. And in the sense of like, I'm, all my characters are not like at level cap, which I desperately need all of them to be at if I want to do some fashion for them. And it's just, yeah, there's so many things that I want to talk about, like the, the, uh, the pain points that I, I'm going to have when I make covering that game, because I do have quite a bit, same thing with Warframe. Um, same thing with final or world, world of Warcraft. So I do apologize that the content has been coming out, but I promise you guys, I've not been like, Oh, I've, I'm quitting or anything like that. It's just, I'm tired. I'm really just tired. So 
I appreciate you guys if you came up to this point. Remember, like, comment, subscribe. It really does help the channel a lot. It just helps me to mentally refresh and be like, okay, cool. Thanks for, like, actually liking the content. So let me know what you guys think. I appreciate y'all. Be safe. I will see you guys later.